In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use an SD card on your Chromebook so that you can open it up and view files that are on it and copy files to your Chromebook, copy some files onto the SD card, and really just do anything you would want to do with an SD card. The first thing you'll need to do is obviously physically insert or connect the SD card to your Chromebook. And this part can sometimes be a little bit difficult depending on your Chromebook. With SD cards, there's basically two common sizes. There's a full size SD card and there's a micro SD card, which is way smaller. The micro SD card will usually come with an adapter to make it full size, but there's basically these two main sizes. Now, quite a lot of Chromebooks will have a micro SD card slot built in. So if your Chromebook has a micro SD card slot and you want to use a micro SD card, you can just grab your micro SD card and shove it straight in the slot. It will only go in facing a certain way. Usually you need to have these gold connector bits facing down. If you try to put it in the wrong way, it often just won't go in all the way but if you put it in the right way, it should go in most of the way. And then you need to kind of push it in all the way until it clicks into place. It often works best if you use your fingernail to kind of push it in that last little bit and you should feel a fairly satisfying click and then it will be in. But if you have a full sized SD card, you obviously won't be able to put it in the micro SD slot. You'll need a full sized SD card slot and unfortunately, it's probably pretty unlikely you'll find a full-sized SD card slot on a Chromebook. Timmy doesn't have any Chromebooks with a full-sized SD card slot, but here's a full-sized SD card slot on a MacBook Pro. So if your Chromebook does have an SD card slot, it'll look something like this, and you can put it in pretty much the same way, pins facing down, writing facing up, and just slide it in. But Full-sized SD cards would typically hang about halfway out of the computer. So don't worry if that's as far as it goes, that's probably just as far as it needs to go. But if you have a full-sized SD card and no full-sized SD card slot, or even if you have a micro SD card and no micro SD card slot, you're going to need some kind of adapter to be able to connect it to your Chromebook. You can get these adapters in all kinds of configurations, so it's really up to you. You can get one from really any place that sells computer things like this, but if we look at Amazon, for example, and we search SD card reader, you'll see down here there's all kinds of options. So this one's really meant for a phone, but you could probably use it with a Chromebook as well. And if we scroll down a bit further here, there's another one that might be meant for a phone. This has even USB-A ports on it and everything. So that would certainly work, but it might be slightly overkill. You'd also be fine with something like this. It looks a bit more like a flash drive, but you put the SD card or micro SD card into here, and then you can either plug it into the USB-A or C port on your Chromebook. And then here's a bit of a different one where you put all the cards in and then you've got a cable that plugs into your Chromebook. And another one like that, and few more different options. So you might have one of these somewhere, or you could buy one, or you might have a USB-C hub like this, which is pretty handy. Tommy's used it on several other videos before, but USB-C hubs will plug into most Chromebooks and then give you a whole lot of extra ports on them to plug a whole lot of different things onto your Chromebook. And some of them will have SD card and micro SD card slots on them. So if you happen to have a hub, maybe check if your hub has SD card or micro SD card slots on it, and then you could use that. But you might have to buy one from somewhere and it's really up to you sort of which style you go for and how you want it to work. And sometimes when you're looking to buy one, they might say Apple and Windows or something. They don't always mention Chromebooks. Sometimes they do, but not always. But they're really all compatible with Chromebooks. There's really no reason that they wouldn't be. Even if they don't specifically say they are, you should really be fine with any of them. You just need to make sure you get one with the right connector. Some Chromebooks only have USB-C ports. 
Some Chromebooks have USB-A or regular USB ports, and a lot of Chromebooks have both ports. So you might want to just check which ports are available on your Chromebook. And if you have a spare USB-A port on your Chromebook, you want some kind of adapter that can plug into a USB-A port. Or if you have a spare USB-C port on your Chromebook, you'll need an adapter that plugs into a USB-C port. But once you have some form of suitable adapter, Timmy's just going to be using this USB-C hub, but it really works exactly the same way for dedicated SD card readers. You're ready to connect it all and plug it into your Chromebook. So you'll put the SD card into the SD card slot on the hub like that. Or if it's a micro SD card, there might be a micro SD card slot on your hub or adapter as well. But if there isn't, you can get one of these things. They usually come with the micro SD cards. And then you would slide that in there like that. And then put that in there. So it basically turns your micro SD card into a full sized SD card. So you can do that if you need to. But for this example, to me, it's just going to put the full sized SD card into the full sized SD card slot on here. And then you'll need to plug your hub or adapter or whatever it is into your Chromebook. So go ahead and plug it into whatever port it can plug into on your Chromebook. And now, sorry about how that how long that took to explain. There's kind of a lot of different possibilities to cover. But hopefully now your SD card is in some way connected to your Chromebook. So now you're ready to pull it up on your Chromebook and start using it. And luckily, this is really all the same no matter what type of SD card or connector or Chromebook you have. Once it's connected, you should get a notification like this that says Remo removable device detected. And you can click open files app there to open, uh, open it straight up in the files app and see all the stuff on your SD card. Sometimes this notification might not appear here for whatever reason. If it doesn't, you can still just go into the app launcher and find your files app somewhere and open up the files app. And then you should see your SD card somewhere down here. In this case, for some reason, it's actually calling to Ms. SD card a USB drive. It might be because of the hub it's plugged into or something, or it might just be getting it wrong. It sometimes gives it really weird names, but that's fine. We only have one thing plugged into the Chromebook here, so we know that must be it. So we'll click on that here. And now we can see all of the files inside the SD card. If this is like a brand new SD card, you might not have any files on it. You might want to add the files, so you might just see a big empty space. But if the SD card has files on it, you should see all the files here like this. And you could double click on a file to open it up and view what's on it if you want to. And you can move these around, rename them. There might be folders on the SD card, so you could double click and see the stuff in there. And you really do whatever you want with it. You've just got access to these files. And you can click and drag and maybe drop it into My Files or something if you wanted to copy a file to your Chromebook. So it's really all just like using files that are anywhere else on your Chromebook, but they're on the SD card. And if you want to learn more about using the Files app on your Chromebook and how you can move and rename files and everything like that, to me has several other videos about that but this is the basic gist of how you can access these files. But one thing it might be worth keeping in mind is if this SD card has been in a camera, so you've been taking pictures or videos on a camera or something, and now you wanna get them on your Chromebook, they might be hidden away in folders, they often are. So when you come and click on your SD card here, you might see a bunch of weird looking folders and you think something didn't quite work. But often if you just look inside them, often as well a DCI, DCIM, yeah, that's what it is, a DCIM, that's often a folder that has stuff in it. So if you go in there and in, in there, you might then find your files that were on your camera or security camera or whatever it was. So you might have to dig into folders a bit to find the stuff you're looking for, but anything that is on this SD card will be accessible somewhere in here. 
And obviously, if you have files on your Chromebook that you want to copy across to the SD card, you can do that too in basically the same way. So if we maybe go into My Files and maybe Example Folder, so here's a bunch of files that are on the Chromebook. We can just select any of these files that we might want to copy to the SD card and then click and drag and drop them onto the name of the SD card, even if that name is something weird like USB drive for some reason. And then when we click on that, these will all be copied across in here. And when you move files to and from an external drive, like this SD card or a flash drive or anything, it will only ever copy them. So these are kind of copies in here, but then you could delete the original ones on your Chromebook. So they're really only moved across, but that's how it works. That's how you can move stuff on and off an SD card on your Chromebook. And now if you have a micro SD card in the micro SD card slot on your Chromebook, it's really not annoying having it there because it's usually very low profile and stays right in there. So you might even want to just leave it in there forever and you just basically have more storage on your Chromebook because you can store stuff on the micro SD card without taking up any space on the Chromebook storage. So you might do that in certain circumstances, but most of the time, once you're done with your SD card, you want to unplug it and take it out of the Chromebook. And before you do that, it's best practice to come in here and click the eject button here. You don't absolutely have to. It's unlikely anything would, bad would happen if you didn't, but there is a small chance you could lose some data or something if you don't do this. And it's very easy to do, so it's best to just do it. So you will click the eject button here and wait for that to disappear from your Chromebook. And now you're all good to go ahead and unplug your hub or reader and take the SD card out of that. Or if you have a SD card slot on your Chromebook, just take the SD card out of your Chromebook. Or if you have a micro SD card slot on your Chromebook with a micro SD card inside it, you often can't just grab onto it and pull it out. You have to push your fingernail in to push the SD card slightly further in for a little bit and then let go and it should click and pop out about halfway, and then you can grab onto it and pull it out the rest of the way. But that's how you can eject it and take it out. And that's really all there is to it. That's how you can use an SD card or even a micro SD card with your Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we might see you in another one in the future.